Hello everyone and welcome to Health is Wealth. Hope this video, this message finds you doing well and that you are open to receive a message that is for you. Um, so today's topic is going to be about having plenty in 2020. So that is my theme. That is my personal customized theme for this year and I want to share it with you. I encourage you to have a personal customized theme for 2020 that resonates with you in your life and your family. So for 2019, my theme was living clean. So 2019, the beginning of the year is when I started the YouTube channel. I was being more intentional about healthy eating, plant-based, whole food eating, living. And now that we are in 2020, I'm super excited that my focus is really about abundance in all areas and all forms of life so my theme like I said is having plenty in 2020 so I know that the importance of abundance first starts with the right mindset the mindset of abundance is one full of gratitude appreciation uh, inner reflection self-reflection reflection of life decisions and being willing to course correct in the areas that need to be course corrected but then also to focus on areas that are working really well and continuing to activate those principles. So I'll give an example. There may be an area of your life where you're doing amazingly well, right? So personal relationships. Your relationships are great. They're healthy with your family life, with your spouse or your partner, with your work professional coworkers, with your business partners. Though That's great. But when it comes to health, whether it's healthy eating or your weight loss goals or whatever, you may not be doing very well or as well as you want. So maybe that's an area of your life that can use some abundance energy, abundance mindset. Um, most of us, most human beings living the society in the world that we live in are going to have a few areas that we're working to develop, right? Financially, health-wise, um, healthy boundaries, self-care self-love it could be how we're parenting our children how we're communicating in relationship with others whatever the case may be we all have areas where we can improve none of us are perfect and as long as you have breath in your lungs and you wake up each morning with life you have an opportunity to turn things around you have opportunity to get it right or get back on track as you would like so having plenty in 2020 is a mindset it's also an intention and part of the intention is a daily intentionality, a daily prayer, a daily reminder, a daily focus around gratitude, joy, peace, and love. Meaning, I'm getting into a practice where I'm waking up and not only being in prayer, but having an intentional mindset that today will be a day that I am grateful. Today will be a day that I have love to give and love to receive. Today will be a day that I have joy to give and joy to receive. And today will be a day where I am in peace, at peace, at all times, no matter their circumstances externally, that my inner peace will not be shaken. So that is an intention that's set. And then you go out each day already setting the foundation that that's what you're about. Your spirit, your mind is going to be pre-programmed to look for things that are about abundance and peace and joy and love. That that is exactly what you gravitate towards. And anything that's not functioning in that in energy or that wavelength, then you either automatically repel it or you know that that's not somewhere you want to be because your intention has been clearly set. So I encourage you to be clear by spending time with yourself to being clear on what your theme for 2020 is, what your daily intentions are, and how you are practicing them. And always, always, always having time, whether it's daily, weekly, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say more than, uh, less than at least once a week. You set aside some hours, or even if it's 20, 30 minutes, and you write down in your journal or have some quiet time, where you have a chance to look back and ask yourself some questions around how did my week go? Was I off? Was I on? Was I true to my values this week? 
Did I stay true to my core this week? Where did I fall off? Why did I fall off? And how do I be intentional so that I stay back to center once again? There's a beautiful song I encourage you to listen to. It's actually an older song by Ian, um, not, not Ayala, excuse me, but an uh, older song by Indy Irie. And it's called Back to the Middle. So no matter like what happens, just come right back to the middle. Life can, and this is my paraphrasing, but life can take you all the way left or life can blow you all the way to the right. But you want to come back to the middle, come back to the center, the center of who you are, center of who God called you to be, the center of your purpose. And you make sure that your daily movement, your daily intention, who you interact with, the decisions that you make, the company that you keep, what you have in your ear gate, what you expose your eye gate to in your mind gate, all of that is center and true to the core values of who you are. So hopefully this encourages you, this inspires you, this brings out something within you that you would like to spend more time with in your quiet time. So I, with that, I, I bid you love, peace, and clean living, and wish you well. Be blessed.